Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today's video we'll be doing Mission 3 from the Command Edition Manual, which is a fantastic little guide on how to play Warhammer 40,000. We have already done Missions 1 and 2, if you want to see the videos for each of those, they are in the description below. Uh, this mission is going to expand upon the rules that we have already seen in the first two missions, as well as add a touch of terrain in to see how it might interact with your game and this one in particular will show how tactics can really change the results of your game. Mission 3, Agents of Annihilation. A group of Scorpec destroyers has entered the fray with orders to eradicate the Space Marines completely. One Assault Intercessor squad has been ordered to hold out upon a defensible position, buying the Space Marines time to launch a devastating counterattack. The battle lasts until each player has had four turns. Ooh. So this is one that's going to limit our ability to play by four turns. Mm. In which case, if there are still Space Marine models on the battlefield, the Space Marine players win. Otherwise, if all the Space Marine models have been destroyed, the Necron players win. Okay, so you have to take out all of my Space Marines, but my Space Marines just have to survive. I just have to hold the line. For four turns. Alright. We'll see what happens. Okay. Let's see, I've got a movement of eight, and I have no shooting weapon, so I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to advance them. So they're going to go three plus eight, go for a total of eleven. When a model moves, instead of making a normal move, you can choose for it to advance in order to cover ground more quickly. If you do so, roll 1d6 and add the result to the move characteristic of the model for that move. If it does advance, it cannot shoot or charge that turn. So, uh, I'm just going to pass it on to Space Marines, turn one. Alright, my Space Marines have to hold the line. However, I just have to survive, so I could face them on, or I could just keep trying to run away. <laughs> May I suggest run away? <laughs> Here's where my combat tactics can make the greatest difference in the game. Whether I stay out of combat or charge into combat with those Necrons will have a huge impact on how the game progresses. In this first scenario, I'm going to choose to avoid combat. Let's see where that decision takes me. I don't think I need to move my full movement. I want to make certain I'm still within range. So I'm just going to move it a little further away from you. Now they're going to shoot. I will just shoot all of my guys together. They all have the same weapon because my particular assault intercessor sergeant is not equipped with the plasma pistol. He is just equipped with a heavy bolt pistol like everyone else. So we've got five shots. Their ballistic skill is three plus. I need three more to hit. Ooh. I successfully got four hits and now wounding on a five, because the, there would be strength four. Yep, their strength and is four. five. Oh, only hitting on five and sixes. I got one wound. And what's their AP on the pistol? Minus one. Minus one. So I have a three up save, so that goes to four. Fifty percent chance of making it, and I do oh, not. Thank goodness. So I am going to take one wound on this guy, the guy with the hyperphase reap blade. Necrons, turn two. Okay. So, these guys move eight, but if I'm moving over the, this... When there is terrain on the battlefield in Warhammer 40,000, the terrain can affect your game depending on the type of terrain it is. In this case, the fuel pipe's terrain is an obstacle with an unstable position. Obstacles impede the movement of your models. When a model moves over an obstacle, be sure to measure the vertical distance that is required to climb up the obstacle and then back down again, and count this distance towards the total distance moved. Also, the top of these pipes is considered an unstable position, so models cannot end their movement on top of them. It's an inch across, an inch up, and an inch down, so the easiest way for me to conceptualize it is just 
take two off their movement and just move them six. Hop, skip, and a jump over there. Six. Get you here. And six gets you here. So I have to make an eight inch charge roll. Come on, boxcars! Oh, Nine inches! Darn it! Oh, this is looking good for Jason and the Necrons. So, I'm going nine inches. So, that will get him right here. You're going up here. And you're going right there. All right, so we've done charge phase. Now let's go to fight phase. Since I charged, I get to go first. So, pile in. I can pile in up to three inches, but I'm just going to go to make sure I'm in base-to-base -base contact, and I'm still within unit coherency. First, because we have two different weapon profiles, I'm going to start with the Hyperphase Threshers, which would be three attacks each. Two of them have it, so we're going to go with six attacks. Okay, they have a Ballistic Skill of three plus. Ballistic Skill? Or, Weapon Skill of <laughs> three plus. Yes, they're going to shoot their arms at you. Mmm, not great. That's oh, shoot. thank goodness. Yep. All right, so these are strength five, and these are toughness four, so I'm wounding on threes. Wow, not great. So that is one attack at minus three. All right, normally I have a three plus save but with minus three that means i only have a save on a six come on six no no how much damage does that take two damage that wipes out one of my space marines mm. um i guess i'll go ahead with you're my sergeant you mm. and now three attacks with the hyperphase reef blade and this is hitting on Threes. All right. Two. This is so strength seven. So that's still wounding on threes. And that's two at minus four. Minus four. Well, I cannot roll a seven on a d six, which means I cannot save at all. No. How many damage? How much damage? Does Three it... each. What? How am I supposed to survive that? You're not. All right. That's the point. Hmm. If I remove these two, the other two would no longer be in engagement range. Mm. So let's see. If I stay in engagement range, I will get to attack back. If I do not stay in engagement range, I would not get to attack back, but I'd be able to make a full movement away from them. However, you would just be able to charge again, and that would give you the opportunity to attack mm. first again. Yes. However, if I stay in engagement range, I will get to finish your turn and attack, and then I'd be able to shoot mm, the yes. next turn. But before I could do any more, you'd be able to attack back. back yes. Well, these are Assault Intercessors. They do better in melee. So, I will remove the ones that are not in melee, so I can attack back. Seven attacks. Um, and it's at three plus. Ooh. Success! And now, the strength on that is still four because it's based on the user. So that's only fives and sixes. My luck. Oh. oh my god. Well, that's at least four hits. Yay! What's their AP? Uh, minus one, seven. Minus one, so I am saving on a four up. Ooh. Oh, thank goodness. So that is enough to kill him. So he already had one wound onto him. And that takes these two. And I have one wound left to assign, so I will assign it to... Buddy right here. All right, mm. and I guess I'll consolidate so that he's still in combat. Yes. Actually, do we take morale in this game? According to the, the rules, we do not worry about morale yet. Today, they are steadfast 
and don't even notice their fellows on the ground next to them. Exactly. It's almost like they know no fear. <laughs> right. We've got two heavy pistols. They are hitting on threes. That is one hit. Wounding on fives. Come on, five. <gasps> oh, that's even better than a five. And they have an AP of minus one on the pistol. Yes. So four up. Ooh. Clink. Darn it all. Mmm, no. Let's see. No charge phase, so now we go on to the combat phase. All right, and unfortunately, your guys get to go first. Mm. Let's, I'm going to We talked about it. unfortunately. That's great. <laughs> Six attacks with the hyper phase threshers. Hitting on threes. Mm. Strength five, toughness four, so I'm wounding on threes. Ooh. And they actually just go right through. So that is three hits with... Mm. Oh, wait, no, this is actually only minus three. So you do actually have a save. Oh, thank goodness. So you need I sixes. I just need three sixes. That's it. No. No. One. Oh. And they have been destroyed. Do you want to have a rematch? I would love a rematch. And let's see what happens if I actually charge in. Mm. This could be quite interesting. Mm. The rematch. The revenge. <laughs> Alright, the board has been reset. We're doing again, and this time I'm going to be aggressive with my assault intercessors. Alright, turn one. I think I'm going to continue with my plan to advance like I did last time, so... Three. Eh, slightly better. So they're going a total of 11. Actually, that's exactly what they got last time. Things are playing out just as they did. Space Marines, turn one. All right, and this time I'm moving toward the enemy. Mm. Now, at this point, I also get to shoot at them. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot my five pistols in. Three plus. Oh, not bad. And five. Ooh, oh, holy like, smokes! Holy cats! Okay, and wow, that minus turned out much better than I expected. So, three up save, minus one makes it a four up. Wow! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> this guy's just been shot oh to pieces, god. and I'm going to put a wound counter on him. Oh my god! There we go. Well, that's the shooting phase. Alright, and now I'm going to attempt to charge over. Now, it looks like I would need a 6, but I actually need an 8 because of the terrain. Charging over terrain. So let's see if I can get a charge roll of 8. Yes! Oh my god! Okay, perfect. So that's 10, which actually makes it 8. We are going to go ahead right there. And give some space for the other fellows. But I don't know if they'd actually all be able to get over there. Well, when you think about it, some of them can't, there's no reason they can't end on top of the uh, fuel pipe. And engagement room. Actually, I don't know how it's set up in this world. In in, actually, world. in this one, it says we can't stand on the uh, pipes. Oh, okay. Ooh, unlucky. Um, however, with the piling of three inches. Yes, I was just thinking I that. should be able to get just over top. Mm -hmm. Since I can go right next to it with my t Yeah, well, with my ten, I can certainly go right next to it. Yes. And technically, the, the end of the move, they're still within two inches of each other, so they're still in unit coherency. All right, and now because I've charged, I get to attack first, and I'm going to pile in, uh, moving these guys out of the way so the other two can go in. So, but still maintaining cohesion. Moving you out of the way, and then it was one, two, three to so. you right here. Perfect. 
All within engagement range. And now I get to attack with all of my chain swords. So. And there's an additional, it says the chain swords has an additional one to uh, attack with this weapon. So we've got three per. Uh, that's what's 16 altogether? 16, yes. Uh, we've got 10 dice, so we'll just do the first 10. Mm. It's uh, weapon skill 3 plus. Ooh. That's five successes. And we'll do an, the other six. Eight successes all together. Okay. Now, wounding on only fives or sixes. Mm, see how this goes. Oh no! Not a one. That. Oh, so unlucky. Oh, the dice. She is a cruel mistress. All right. So, go. Necrons, I've got six attacks. So, hitting on threes. Oh, that is not great. Wounding on threes, because I have a strength of five. And that is two at minus three. Six ups. All right, need sixes. No sixes. So that's two damage each, so that's two dead intercessors. All right, uh, you and... You. Mm. And that is Space Marines turn one. Wow. It's not <laughs> bad. It's quite a deadly game. Okay. Since I am within engagement range, I can neither move nor shoot. So all I can do is start the fight phase. So mm -hmm. because it is not it is my turn, you get to go first. I do. Which means I still have my sergeant because I mm -hmm. did not take him out, so he's got four attacks. And the other two have three attacks each. I am happy where I currently am, so mm. I'm not going to move them about. And let's do it. Three plus. Mm. One fail. And fives and sixes. Hopefully more than zero. Mm. More than zero would be great. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's oh, okay. quite that's a few. more than zero. Uh, six. Oh my god, this could actually take me out. So, AP minus one on the chain sword, so I got a four or better. Ooh, Ooh that's two damage, and that's enough to take him out. Ooh. Oh, things are not looking good for the robots. But now it's my turn to attack, so I get mm, three attacks. But if I hit and wound on all of them, I could take out every single one of them. Okay. Hitting on threes. Oh. oh, wounding on threes. Oh. oh my, and that's the end of Necron turn two. Oof, oof. Which means the Space Marines, they have pistols, so they are of course going to shoot at the Necron uh, within melee with them. So that's three plus. Ooh, oh, all hits. Okay, and fives and sixes. One Ooh. at AP minus one. Four up. Oh my god. Ooh, one damage. And they also didn't charge, so you get to fight first. Mm. So, okay, three attacks. Hitting on threes. Okay, I'm not going to wipe them all out. Wounding on threes. Ooh, not bad. Six ups. Six up. Nope. Oh, two of them are dead. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm leaving my sergeant. Yeah. All right, my sergeant has four attacks. Need two of them to go through. Mm. Three plus. Ooh. Oh. The odds are going down. Fives. Come on. Two fives. Ah. Five and six works. Now just don't save. Four ups. Ooh. Oh my goodness, he's down to one health. No, no. All right. Oh, and this is now going to be your turn. Mm. And I'll get to attack first again, won't I? Yes, you do. Oh. Oh. So, three plus. Ooh. Fives and sixes. <gasps> there's one. Oh my gosh, there's one. There's a chance. <gasps> no! 
Well, thanks for watching. I hope that was useful to you. And I, if you enjoyed it and would like to see more, like and subscribe to the videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.